Dear Chris, Thank you for the proposal to exhibit at Sewell Gallery. As a working artist, we know how important it is to have your work seen. The competition is very tight. We encourage you to continue exploring your ideas and submit your proposal in the future. Warmest regards. What you can see is it's very poorly photocopied because real letterhead is not worth the effort. You know, you don't need that 2005 car, you know, get something older or no car at all or a scooter. Uh, thank you for your submission. We are not interested in your work at this time. That doesn't mean we didn't laugh. It just means we didn't laugh hard enough. I like that one. That was pretty decent. So, really, it's not us, it's you. Rejection Collection, it's an idea for a show I'd had in the past. I've been curating it for over a year now, and there have been openings where nobody's shown up, and there have been openings where you can't even get in the door. So it's, it's Friday night, springtime, I, I have no idea what, what to expect. I got a haircut just for this. No, that's not true. It was for the opening tonight, too. So the funny thing is, I don't save any of my rejection letters, so I had to wait till I got some rejection letters. But some of the people that I admire a lot, you know, who I think are far better painters than I'll ever be, came back with a two-inch thick stack of rejection letters that they'd saved. My brother told me, I think 20 years ago, apply for everything, and you're going to get rejected for most of it. Actually, probably more quote-unquote rock stars in uh, America today than there are syndicated cartoonists. Do you know that the theme is rejection? That these are all artworks that have been rejected? Uh, no. Wow. How do you feel about that? What's your reaction to that? Well, that's interesting because I think they're beautiful. There's nothing in my mind that differentiates these pieces from, a pie from pieces hanging in any other gallery anywhere that were accepted in any other show. The rejection slips. I mean, it resonates because we all get rejected. You, you try and, and fine-tune your work in terms of what you think they might want, but that's also a very dangerous path because then you end up being derivative. You don't say anything, actually. No, by being rejected, it hasn't changed my, my approach to art at all. I, I continue doing what I want to do regardless of whether it's going to sell or whether people are going to show it. No, you just keep making things. You just keep making things. And I want something with a little bit more um, gristle. I want. I want to see something that has a little bit more truth and that says some substance about life to it. Man, get used to it or find another job because, I mean, it's just that way. I thought several times, okay, if I paint tiki, guns, pinup girls, I would get into a lot more shows and be a bigger seller. But you know, that seems like a cop-out. That was definitely sort of a flavor of the month, you know, five years ago. So I mean, I've thought about it, but I haven't been ambitious enough to put a lot of effort into something that's not me. One of my friends that I respect a lot, he's a former art instructor and, you know, college instructor, he's always telling me, it's usually after a couple glasses of wine, your day's going to come, you're so good, your day's going to come, and don't change, don't change, just keep being you. No, it turned out great. It actually bugged and sold three of his pieces, which is, which is amazing for an opening here. I, I was not expecting any sales tonight. Um, for the show, you never know. I might sell one or two pieces, but to sell three at the opening, especially as the person who helps curate with me, bugged in, that's, that's excellent. Would you rather die penniless and be recognized as, as a master of the arts long after your death, or would you, would you want to be able to make a comfortable living while you're on Earth, but never really achieve that sort of recognition afterwards? Well, do you believe in heaven? I don't. I'm all for selling out, if you can sell out in a way that you're comfortable with. When I do pet portraits, I'm sometimes asked to compromise my aesthetic, and yeah, sure, no problem. And you know, death's not that far away for some of us. So I'd just as soon have it now, but you know, death will be fine if that's all I get.